class. Today our topic is logarithm. In short form, it's called log. So I know you have small, small problems there, but don't worry, I'll sort you out. So when I have log A to the base B, or should I say if I have log 8 to the base 2, and I ask you, 2 raised to the power of what will give me 8? Or what power do I raise 2 to get 8? So if I have this to be equal to x, I can say 2 raised to the power x is equal to 8. Now let's solve for x. So 2 raised to the power x is equal to 2 raised to the power 3. The bases are the same, therefore, x is equal to 2. Oh, sorry, x is equal to 3. Now, so the same way if I have log a to the base b, and this is equal to c, then it means what power do I have to raise b to get a? So this means that b raised to the power c is equal to a. This is just logarithm. Okay, so if I have log a to the base b, what power do I have to raise b to get a? So if it is equal to c, then b raised to the power c is equal to a. It's just that that is what I'm doing for you. So let's pick another example. So if I have log 1 over 81 to the base 3, and I ask you, what power do I have to raise 3 to get 1 over 81? No problem. Let's equate this to, let's say, y, and let's solve for y. So I can say that 3 raised to the power y is equal to 1 over 81, according to my definition here. I said that if I have log a to the base b, so log 1 over 81 is my a, and then my b is 3, and this is equal to c, then I can write that 3 raised to the power, let's say y, is equal to what a. So 3 raised to the power y is equal to what 1 over 81. So let's solve for y. So this will give me 3 raised to the power y equals 1 over 3 raised to the power 4. So just as we learned in um, indices, when it comes to the inverse, where you have a raised to the power minus n to be equal to 1 over a raised to the power n. So we use the inverse form. This becomes a raised to the power minus n. So the right hand side becomes 3 raised to the power negative 4. So I have 3 raised to the power y to be equal to 3 raised to the power negative 4. The bases are the same, therefore, y is equal to negative 4. That is the value of y. Now, just as we have properties of indices, or lots of indices, we also have the properties of logarithm. So I'm going to take you through the properties of logarithm.